Hi, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take an object, convert it to JSON, and then also revert it back to being an object um, later on. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so I've got a, a really simple example here uh, with a button and just uh, a couple of lines of code. So I've got a, an object here which is a tfue class, uh, which has just got a foo and a fee string uh, and integer property on them. Now using rest.json, there is a class in there, a static class called tjson, and in there there's a number of methods that we can go and use. So if we just drill in here, um, we can see that we're able to take a, a, an object and convert it to a JSON string, and also we're able to convert it back in the other way, so take JSON and convert it to a specific object. So to do that, we pass in what type we want to use and then the representation of either a JSON object or the JSON string. So here we have uh, our foo object being created and uh, we then use the tjson to convert the object to a JSON string. So if we go and run this application, we can see here that our JSON is, is outputted. But what we can also do is we can say here Let's have use uh, t json, and we can say json to object, and we can tell it that this is going to be a type t foo, and we can just pass in the memo ones dot lines dot text here, uh, and then we can do uh, a try finally here and say foo dot fee uh, equals one hundred, and we can then uh, just do foo.free here, uh, but let's just do the same thing again. Uh, but this one, uh, time we'll just do dot to add. So if we go ahead and run this now, We can now see we've got two objects outputted, um, one with 42 and the other with 100. So what we've done here is we've taken our object, we converted it to JSON, we've then taken the JSON string, converted it back into an object, and then updated one of the properties and output the output again. So that's how you can take an object to JSON and back.